we have one of the highest uh, uh, we, 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 we as, as, just as a people, we control one point eight trillion dollars, which is bigger than some of your uh, some some other some other countries per capita. Let's keep it a buck. Uh, Hip hop is ours, despite what you may understand or, or, or what, what, what the media might be trying to tell you. Break dancing is ours. Hip uh, rock and roll country. All genres of music in America, you can say we did it. The fade. Let's go back to the early 1900s when they started it. When they, come on, come on. Let's start the early 1900s, right? When black people were the skilled workers in this country, we were the original cow boys. Okay. And the uh, government c tried to undermine the black worker. They didn't want black, you know, after Reconstruction. Uh, and the Reconstruction period, black black people were doing very well. Foundational Black Americans were doing very well. We were in all types of uh, city, state uh, ordinances, and 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 we were uh, voting, and we were uh, we were part of a political party and all that stuff, and we were doing pretty decent. We had the job because we had the skills. Well, they brought in a mi another migration of European immigrants, which which came in and undermined it black Americans and moved to the front and pushed us down. But guess what? We still thrived. We still became who we came. So we thought, you know what? They brought in all these European migrants. We, we need to bring some of our brothers, right? Because we thought at one time that we were all brothers, right? That, uh, that, that African, that we thought we were African. We thought, you know, we didn't know no better, right? So we, we stomped the yard. We brought civil rights to, to where it's at and made it possible for other uh, countries, other melanated countries to come to America. But here's the problem. Y'all start doing the same thing the white immigrants did when they came in. Y'all start trying to undermine us, take our resources, take our jobs, so on and so forth. And guess what? We still thrive and we're still thriving. So what's the problem? Who's black and who's not black? I know I'm black. I know my brother right here, Walt D is black. But are yes, you sir. are you black? Do you have the consciousness of a black man or do you have the consciousness of whatever your ethnicity, your tribe or your nationality is? That's the question. Talk to us Walt D man. How do you feel about that? Who's black and who's not black? Yeah, I mean, um to me Black just is short for foundational Black American. We're just keeping it short. We're saying we're Black. And like that that's the reason why when, when people come over here, they don't understand what we're doing. They don't understand the struggle. If you try to, you can't even talk civil rights error with people that's non-foundational Black. You, you try to talk civil rights, they're going to be like, who? Who's Martin Luther King? Who's, Mal who's Malcolm X? Who's Huey P. Newton? Who's the black man? That they don't know who all them are, you know. They don't have the consciousness for that. I mean, they know what's going on in their country. But the funny thing about it, though, is the foundational black Ameri American or the black man, he's familiar with what's going on in the world because the average foundational black American can tell you what's going on in the world and other countries as well as his country. You know, other people that, that they only know what's in their country. And I know because, I mean, I've, I've been over to Africa and stuff. I, can, I, I know about a lot of their leaders. They don't know about a lot about ours except for what they see on the Internet. And that's the thing, man. We've allowed the media to control the narrative that, uh, you know, uh, people, you know, people come over here and they assume things about black Americans that just aren't true. Because the media portrays us as what? Grimy, lazy, uh, criminality, and all that stuff. And we've been telling people for the longest time the news has been lying. We told you for the longest time. It wasn't until uh, Trump came along and called it fake news, everybody started questioning the news and start understanding. But here's the thing how can the news be wrong, but they get us right? That don't even make any sense. It's all propaganda. It's all witchcraft that are going through these uh these, these streams, right? Going through these radio waves, going through these television waves, right? Uh, and it's meant to entertain you 
and polarize you, right? That's what that that's the job of the media: entertain and polarize. But not to not to give you the true the true source, the true news, the facts, right? Not to give you the truth. Their job their job is to spin the narrative on the truth. Their job is to dictate what the truth is, not to tell you what, not to give you the real truth, but to dictate what that truth is going to be. Their job is to change your perception of reality to fit what they want it to be. So I'm telling you right now, we are delineating from the Democratic Party because for 60 years they've done nothing for us. And we are delineating from this pan-African mindset because it has never worked for Black Americans. Every time someone not on our side but on that side on the melanated family side sabotages it 